Cash Savings Requirements for Appendix FM Visa Today's video will be discussing the issues that people relying on cash savings may come across. What is cash savings? Cash savings is money that is legally obtained and not borrowed and kept in your personal or your partner's bank account. The account must be a current investment or deposit account of a bank abroad or in the UK. Cash must not be held in betting or a brokerage account. Physical cash is not included in cash savings. It should be understood that the currency exchange rate is also important. When money is saved in the account for foreign currency beside GBP, the value will be checked based on online Forex trading and Forex broker exchange rates on the application date. Therefore, in the situation where the cash savings are deposited in a foreign currency, it is preferred that you have slightly more than the obligated account, which is £62,500, to allow for a buffer during a shift in currency exchange. The UK uh, immigration system. Ending free movement. But change is coming. Change is change is coming. Change is coming. who holds £62,500 in cash. It is important to keep in mind that cash savings do not enclose bonds, trust funds, stocks or other investments. The applicant must have at least £62,500 at the date of application for their visa in liquid cash funds. Since it is not common to have such a large amount in liquid funds, especially for six months, the law however, permits the candidates to liquidate assets owned by them or their partners to realize £62,500 of cash savings, then make their applications. The applicants should be able to prove the investment for at least six months in their bank account before the liquidation. What if you own real estate? It is the same for real estate as well. You can depend on the earnings of your own or your partner's property, given which shows that the property was owned for no less than six months before it was sold and any loan mortgage obtained on the taxes, property and legal fees should already be paid off from the amount earned, leaving £62,500 as a remaining amount. While selling your property in the UK, you will have to review taxes such as capital gains tax, inheritance tax and stamp duty. Are Bitcoins acceptable? What about other sorts of assets? For your application, if you are deciding to rely on cryptocurrencies, you might not have much luck. The law requires cash savings to be saved in a savings current account in a bank. Since crypto is a digital currency, you will not be able to get bank statements for your crypto wallet holding bitcoins. For other tangible assets, it is still unlikely to depend on the sale of the likes of planes, artworks, boats, cars etc. to indicate cash savings. The present two problems in such cases are the following. The law for application for Appendix FM describe property strictly as in the form of land, building or only of a dwelling and if you count these assets as investments, you would be required to supply certain proof, which includes portfolio valuation reports from the bank, which are not likely to be available for such assets. Is there a possibility for the law to change? Given how the Appendix FM financial requirements operate with its outdated structure, the Home Office overhauling this route may be possible in the future, acknowledging the way as for how people manage their finances. However, it is still to be waited for and is not evident to be provided by the Home Office. It's interesting that HMRC has started giving acceptance to crypto assets through their Crypto Assets Manual. We have reached the end of our video for today, Please like, subscribe, and share our channel. Thanks for watching.